The moment you open a Word document, before you start doing anything, you are looking at lots of distractions. Blank spaces on both sides, a heavyweight menu on top, and lots of information below the document. However, if you just press the focus button below, it really helps you, well, focus. Removing all the noises from your face, you can now really get into the flow state to start writing right away. Hey friends, this is Rifat and in this video, I will share 17 more of such powerful hacks for Microsoft Word that you probably didn't know about. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm a lecturer based in Dhaka, Bangladesh and on this channel, I share my journey with studying, law and productivity. Today, I'm talking about MS Word. Let's get right into it. Tip number one, convert text to table. In MS Word, we can quickly jot down information by creating columns and rows using tab. Then we can easily convert the tabbed text into a table using the built-in convert text to table feature. Just write down your information using tab and enter. Select the text, then from the menu bar, click on insert, then select table, then select convert text to table. A new box will appear and you can now customize here if you want to and then just press OK and voila, your selected text has now been transformed into a beautiful looking and organized table. This feature also works if you write down information just using comma 2, quick and simple. Tip number 2, calculations. We usually think that we need to do all the calculations in an Excel or Google sheet, but surprisingly, MS Word is similarly powerful to run all these calculations too. For example, if I right click on the last row and select insert and then rows below, a new row is added and now if I want to, I can let MS Word auto calculate based on whatever formula I need here. You just need to go to the layout menu, then formula and from here, you can choose the type of calculation you want to do and press OK. That's it. You will never have to copy paste your work from an Excel sheet or refer to other document to show your calculations ever again. Tip number three, translations. Did you know that MS Word has a built-in translation feature that you can use to translate your document directly within the document itself? Just select the text you want to translate, go to review from the menu tab, select translate. From here, you can choose either to translate the entire document or just the selected text or even set a default translation language. For now, let's select translate selection. It will open up a new panel in the right side of the document. From here, you can select the source language or let it auto detect and then you can select the language you want to translate into. Once you have selected the language, you can also hover between each translated words to see word by word translation and if you are satisfied, you can directly insert the translation in place of the source right from here. No need to translate entire documents anymore. Tip number four, sorting lists. You can easily sort both texts or numbers in MS Word. Just select the text and go to sort from the home menu. Word has automatically detected here that I want to sort numbers, but you can change it if you need to. You can organize in both ascending or descending order. Let's choose ascending and press OK. Now all your numbers are beautifully sorted here. This same feature also works for texts in paragraphs. Whenever you need to, using this powerful feature, you won't have to manually rearrange large chunk of texts and numbers ever again. Tip number five, delete by word. This is an easy one, but you may not know about it. Instead of slowly pecking at the keyboard to delete text or holding down backspace to eliminate words or entire sentences, press Command and Backspace for Mac or Control and Backspace for Windows to erase one word at a time. This makes the tedious task much easier. Tip number six, highlight by sentence. To quickly highlight an entire sentence, hold down the Control key in Windows or command key on a Mac and click the beginning of the sentence. Word will take care of the rest and it will exactly highlight one sentence at a time based on where the full stop is. Tip number seven, table of contents. Microsoft Word makes it extremely easy to insert a table of content in your document. You don't have to manually create a table of content and worry about the page numbers being changed if you make any changes to the document. To insert a table of contents, just go to the top tab and click on references. On the left hand side, 
click on table of contents and you will see a few predefined designs for tables of contents. You can choose any one you like or customize a design for your own and based on the styles you have adopted throughout the document, a table of content will automatically be created. You just need to make sure that from the start, you have followed from the home tab one of these styles. You don't have to worry about page numbers or even changes in the headings or subheadings. Any changes you make within the document, the relevant update can be reflected on the table of contents very easily by pressing the update button on top of the table of contents. From here, you can choose to update page numbers only or you can update for the entire document. Pretty easy. However, if you do not like the available formats in the home tab, there comes tip number eight, default styles. You can select the default font you want, not the default font Word wants you to use quite easily. If you don't like Calibri or Cambria and prefer to use Arial, Times New Roman, or if you like the modern nature of Vardana, you can set your preferred styles as default. This command differs by version, but the most reliable way is to click Format and then Font, select the attributes you want, and then click Default. This will change your default fonts and you won't have to change it again every time you open a new Word document. Alternatively, from the Style pane in the Home tab, you can select New Styles and select the style you want to follow throughout the document. Before moving on to the rest of the tips and tricks, are you finding these powerful MS Word hacks helpful? If you are, then don't forget to show your support by pressing the like button below and sit tight cause even more amazing techniques are coming up right now. Tip number 9. Citations and Bibliography MS Word makes it extremely easy to work with citations. Here I have two different quotes that I have inserted into this document from different sources. If I want to insert a citation here, I have to navigate to the References tab, then click on Insert Citation. Firstly, I need to click on Add New Source. A new box will open up. From here, I can choose the type of source and fill out all the necessary details. Once all the details are filled up, just press OK and a new citation will be added at the end of the sentence. More importantly, if I want to use this same source anywhere else in the document, I can then just simply go back to insert citation and then previous citation will already be there and I can easily add it again from here. And then once you are finished writing the entire document, you probably need to insert a bibliography or a works cited section. This was always a painstakingly boring process where you have to go back to all your resources and input them one by one following a particular format. But MS Word makes life easier here too. From the References tab, you have the option to choose different citation styles here. And to make your life easier, you don't even have to know nitty gritty details about any of these styles here because MS Word will take care of it for you. Let's choose APA for now. And simply, if you click on Bibliography, you will have the option to choose from different built-in formats. Choose the one you like and all of your citations will be added in your preferred style right where you want to. And if you have to add or delete any citations from your document, don't worry at all. Just like table of contents, you can update your citations and bibliography from here. Tip number 10, format pasting. You can see I have used a lot of formatting in this sentence. I have made it bold, underlined it, italicized it, increased the font size and even used a very specific color. It takes a lot of time to format like this. But what if I want to quickly apply the same formatting to a different sentence or to many more sentences, if that matters. First, make sure your cursor is on the line that you have already formatted. Now, navigate to the Home tab and double click on the Format Painter. Now, you will notice that a paintbrush has appeared with your cursor and whichever sentence you highlight using this cursor now, the same format will be applied. This feature is so useful to quickly copy and paste formats within a document. Tip number 11. Smart Lookup Anytime you highlight a word or phrase and right click it, you will see a Smart Lookup option which serves as a quick shortcut to browse the web without slowing you down to open a separate browser window. From word definitions to new scans, this powerful tool can transform a simple question into a wealth of knowledge. Tip number 12. Auto update date. Sometimes you have a document that you use again and again 
updating only a few key details. If this happens to be a document, like a letter that includes the date and or time, one nifty little trick is to allow Word to update the date automatically. Under the Insert tab, if you find and click on the tiny date and time button, a pop-up window will appear. Click the date format you want and then be sure to click Update Automatically box in the bottom left corner and press OK. Now the date will automatically be updated every time you open or print the document. Tip number 13. Capitalization. You can easily change the capitalization of any text with the click of a button. Just highlight your selection and from the Home tab, click on the AA pull down menu to alter your text between sentence case, all uppercase, all lowercase. You can also make every word start with a capital letter and toggle between cases. With this feature in your arsenal, you can focus on writing first and think about quick formatting later. Tip number 14, horizontal line. Sometimes you might need to use a horizontal line to indicate separation between different parts of your document. Instead of choosing to include a horizontal line from the home tab, you can use the much faster way. Easily add a horizontal line across your page extending from the left margin to the right margin by simply typing three hyphens and then pressing enter. And surprisingly, you will see a straight horizontal line appear below. Tip number 15, adding hyperlinks. We all know about Ctrl or Command C to copy and Ctrl or Command V to paste in a document. Like these copy and paste commands, mastering keyboard shortcuts for adding web links to your document is critical. Just select the text you want to hyperlink and press Command K in Mac or Ctrl K in Windows and in the new pop-up window, you can quickly add the web link to hyperlink to your text. This would be a much faster way to add hyperlinks to your document. Tip number 16, navigation pane. The navigation pane allows you to very quickly navigate throughout the document. To use the navigation pane, just like with the table of contents, you have to make sure that you use headings throughout your document. Once you have styles throughout your document from the view tab, you can check to show navigation pane. Once you have the navigation pane available in the left column, you can now quickly navigate to any part of the document. Jumping around to different places in your document can easily be done using this feature. Before we move into the last stylish hack, if you are getting value from this video and want more contents like this one, don't forget to subscribe below because that would mean a lot to me. And now, last but not the least, tip number 17, templates. This trick is painfully simple yet often overlooked. I knew I couldn't go without mentioning the beauty of templates here. Are you always starting from scratch? Do you always opt for a totally blank document regardless of what you are creating? If you are, then using some of MS Word's existing templates can save you tons of time. From resumes to brochures, Word offers tons of helpful templates that can eliminate all of your formatting related headaches and help you end up with a polished and professional looking document. So how do you find all of this? When you open up Word, instead of creating a blank document, if you click on more templates, you can take a look at some of the different template options right there and even use the search bar to look for something specific. We all know how essential and important a tool like MS Word is for all of us. But I hope I could introduce here some new and useful tips to make your workflow faster easier and to boost your productivity and efficiency. But there are so many more useful features of this amazing piece of software out there. Let me know in the comments down below which feature you liked most or if you know of any other important features that I forgot to mention here. That way we can all learn from the comment section. Also, don't forget to share this video with others who could benefit from it. I have also made another video on useful hacks using Google Docs, which I will link down below or you can click here to watch that. I think you will also love this custom playlist I have made for you that contains more tips to boost your productivity. So check it out. Thanks for watching and see you later.